Hello and welcome to this edition of Inside Story. Thank you for joining us. I am Nelly Skipid. Coming up on our program, the Madonga Festival returns to the Chatuya National Park at Rabaka. The Festival of Bands held during the Everything Vinci Expo theme night is a musical success. We bring you highlights from activities held during October to celebrate this country's 43rd anniversary of independence. We take a look at the song penned by Kenneth, The Vibrating Skakes Arlene, in 1979. And on Inside Minute, we bring you a look at some unique aspects of our Vincentian society and culture. Stay with us. Inside Story continues in just a moment. Welcome to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We've just landed at the Argyle International Airport. It's 5 p.m. local time. In preparation for arrival, we remind you to keep physical distance and avoid congregating in the aisles when deplaning. On behalf of the flight deck crew and Captain Noel of Flight 549, thank you for choosing American Airlines for your travels today. We hope you've had a pleasant flight and look forward to seeing you again soon. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the most beautiful, diverse Caribbean destination. From white sand beaches and beautiful sailing waters in the Grenadines to our pristine black sand beaches on mainland St. Vincent. Take a journey with me. Let's discover St. Vincent and the Grenadines. What you know, eat what you grow, let's go with Madongo, was the theme for the Madongo Festival held at the Chatuya National Park on Independence Day, October 27. The festival aims to increase local consumption of arrowroot starch, to create awareness, and to boost agricultural diversification in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Sean Rose, director of the API, journeyed to Rabaka to document the return of this important festival. Here's more on the event. St. Vincent, my homeland you gave me no mansion, no gold, no diamond, yet I love you a million for the things that you have to offer. is more than my heart's desire. With me is manager of the SVG Arrowroot Association and his name is Mr. Selman Walters. It's no strange name in this country, of course, a former politician. Yes. And you've been involved in, in ministry work as well, yes. um, preaching the gospel. And you've been my Sunday school teacher and, Big time. and friend and comrade for years. Um, keeping this tradition alive is a very interesting engagement because folks often wonder how long will our roots survive in this country. But give us your take on the staging of this particular activity today. Well, this is the third time we're doing it. We did it in 2018, 2019. 2020 because of COVID, we didn't do it. 21, we didn't do it because of the volcano. Yes. We are back on track 2022. Uh, the crowd this year is smaller than last time. I think people will take some time to get back into the groove of it. Yes. But I think, I'm happy, I'm happy about it. That the response is very good, very good. And what about the participants? Um, have you seen growth in that area? More tents, more people coming out to make them a dongo? Well, yes, yes, yes. We have, we have, we have expanded on the number of tents to accommodate for the critique we got last time that there were not enough stalls to take last time we had four stalls now we have eight so we're handling the crowd very well as you can see people are coming and people are going and i think we are doing very very well well i heard because i wasn't here for the last couple of years that the lines were always long 
Now you have eight, you said. You had four. But the lines are still long. <laughs> well, everybody wants some Modongo. Yes, yes. People are from as far as Chatebele, Fijus. Yes. Some came from as far as Kenawan and New York. So the lines are still long, although we have eight stalls. So maybe next year we have ten stalls. Would you say, and I'm happy you mentioned next year, would you say that this is now a permanent feature on our annual calendar of activities? We want to make it so. We want to make it so. So that every year there is Madongo Fest on the independence cultural activities. Annually, we want to make it like that, yes. No one can compete with us with this particular product that we have. The baking of Madongo, growing our root. They, they can't because St. Vincent is the only Caribbean country that produces our root, apart from Brazil. So a Madongo Fest has to be a St. Vincent thing yes. or a Brazil thing. Yes. So Brazil is not near us, so it is a St. Vincent thing in the Caribbean. I'm here with Mrs. Ballantyne. Now, for the folks who don't know you, I want you to tell them who you are and your involvement in this annual Madongo Festival here at the Chateau National Park at Rabaka. My name is Winifred Ballantyne. I reside at Stanley Bay, the beautiful village in North Windward. With the exception of 2020 and 2021, we have been doing this for the last three years. I think that it would go forward with the younger folks. And once our route is still on the market, we would see some progress. It's a very unique festival. There's nowhere else in the Caribbean where you would find an activity like this, where Madongo is a central feature. When it started out, did you expect it to get this big? Not at the, mo not at the initial stage, but now we realize that everybody look at Malongo as a delicacy in North Redwood. We want to give you a force and experience of what it's like to be here watching these folks prepare the Madongo. Alonzo will just turn around and look at this particular young lady right here. You're seeing some finished Madongo coming out of the pot. She's turning some. And I know this, long, this lady right here, her name is Giselle. Hi, Giselle. How are you? Hi, Shadows. I was speaking with your mom a while ago, and she's saying that we the young folks can carry on this tradition. Oh, yes, we will. Tell us about this particular experience, though. I mean, over the last couple of years, this event has grown. Well, we did it in 2019. 2020 was COVID. 2021 was the last of her. And we are back. And I think we are bigger and better this year, this year round. As you can see. Yes. The lines are getting longer. Yes, it is. So you're it, back with a bang this year? Oh, yes, you can say that. And we'll be bigger and better next year. You think I could make a better Madongo than you? No, you can't. <laughs> All right, nice talking with you. Thank you, Sean. Right. And happy independence to all the people of SVG. And welcome to Madongo Fest. The right. best. Volcano come, volcano came, volcano blow. We're still eating fish and Madongo. Here again at this year's Madongo Fest. We keep meeting a number of stars. And we have some of our cultural ambassadors in our midst as well. Hans John, Tajo. Uh, Brethren, give me your take very quickly on this particular activity, this Madongo Fest. Well, it's a great evening for National Pride. Hans John, Charlie Johnson, Tadjo, Sons of the Soil, and we're here celebrating the 43rd year of independence in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Man, Madongo Fest yes. is the best thing. It's the best thing. I be here every year once they have it. But it feels good to be back outside, to meet the people, and to really represent for the blue, yellow, and green. Yeah, man. And the resilience of our people have been showing here today. Agreed. Not only in the colors and representation, but in the food, because yeah. I want the man on the fish. <laughs> Charlie? Yeah, I mean, I mean, let me just echo some of the sentiments of Hans John. This is one of the better events we have throughout the year, the Madonga Festival. You know, it's an event for the young, the old, everybody on the in-between. You know, persons from the diaspora who come home, they come to the Madonga Festival. Even the, um, the bikers from our neighboring um, islands, Grenada, St. Lucia, wherever, they come to the Madonga Festival because, I mean, it's very festive. What better way to celebrate our independence that that. our own um, homegrown products and yeah. food. 
and our own homegrown recipes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a day that people really look forward to, especially after the parade. I'm sure that a lot of the people here, they don't even bother to go home. From straight from the parade, they drive straight up to Rabuka. And since the inception of the, the event, that has been the norm. Yes. You know? So people actually really look forward to, to the event. People will stop on their way up to, to buy a drink or buy a food and maybe on their way down. Yes. So it's a great economic spill off when you have activity like this. And I mean, you have vendors who depend on these type of activities to, to make a living. So we have to keep the culture going. Yes. And it's all part and part of the preservation of our, our own Vinci culture. Well said, man. Thank you. And again, this is very unique. Yeah. Now we're in the wall, the host of Madongo Fest. Yeah, that's right. You know? Yes, yes. So we, we are very happy at the, the turnout that we've seen here today yeah. after um, not having it for the last two years. We celebrate our independence, 43 years of independence. And we do so with the Art Association as they help to feed all of us with Madongo at this time. We are not at war with Great Britain today. We are in peace and harmony with Great Britain as the one who would have established the Commonwealth of Nations. And so, as we celebrate another year of independence, let us do so, reflecting on our past. Let us remember those that struggle. Let us give recognition to those who fought for our fundamental rights and freedoms. Let us recognize the value of those who recognize the value of humanity. I hear the voice of my ancestors calling. Come home, come home, come home, children who man abroad. Hear the voice of my ancestors calling. Come home, come home, come home, children who man abroad. Don't forget your history. Nobody now a country social. The party uh, it not normal and no behavior informal. Plenty girl private and rental. I want everybody give the kids them a nice wave. Or they give me children and a nice wave now. Give the kids them a nice wave. Give what? Whoa! Whoa! And we reach by the end we party. These are my kids. These are my children. Are they ready to jump up? Good night. I'm wishing everybody a happy. Independence Day 2022. And God bless everybody. No, I love you. Enjoy yourself. Have a happy and wonderful Independence 2022. God bless you. Diabetes is among the top three leading causes of death. Are you living with diabetes? If so, you may be at risk for developing complications, especially during this COVID pandemic. Let's tackle this problem by complying with taking your medication, increasing your physical activities, increasing eating a balanced and nutritious diet, checking your feet as foot care is important, and contacting your healthcare provider. Remember, diabetes can lead to blindness, amputation, and numerous harmful and life-threatening effects. Protect yourself. Know your numbers. Hearts Movement SVG reminds you to love your body and treat it right. Your health is shared responsibility.
Thanks for staying with us. The Everything Vinci Expo, like other events, made a return this independence after a two-year hiatus. The event ran from Monday, October 23 to October 28 under the theme Business, Entrepreneurship, Entertainment, Food and Fashion. The expo also featured theme nights, one of which was the Festival of Bands. Events for the Everything Vinci Expo included the Festival of Bands, which was held at the Geese Shed Grounds on Tuesday, October 25. The event, which featured live music, can only be described as magnificent, with musical genres ranging from gospel to jazz and contemporary jazz to soca. The Bethel High School Band opened the night with gospel pieces. So, so fire in darkest nights you are close like no other cause i've known you as a father i've known you as a friend and i have lived in the good Their act was followed by the Ultimate Five, who brought contemporary jazz to the mix. audience with their unique style. They brought an ensemble of music composing reggae and soul. Hey, something is wrong, I see it in your eyes. Your eyes. Where is the joy? Where is your big broad smile? Trust me anymore Showing signs I've never seen before Do you the mistakes of the past would have been If I had a chance to do it again And right the wrong that your little heart Would not be singing sad songs All the pain and all the past 
that grows and dies like grass I don't ever want to live without you Shaking negative vibes, trying to stay alive But I never said it would be easy Living in a system that you can't win But by the time we're old and slow Folks, how you wanna say hello but since we've got to try, we survive if we believe in the black beauty. Shaking negative vibes, trying to stay alive wherever you. She's gonna reveal all her secrets unto me And her name, yes, her name is, is Wisdom Yeah, yeah, yeah I heard she's much fresher than gold The night was filled with jazz. The Jazz Tropical Project Band wowed the audience with many different moods of music, which included a taste of Christmas. Black and white, 
Love is the answer, South Africa. Love is the answer, Nicaragua. Love is the only answer. Yeah. Well, I get sent to tie on old people on skin. How come I don't sing wrong or so quick too? Well, I will live to try if it's this the last thing. I had someone tell me what to do. Baby, this rock and soca music something sweet. I'm hearing it all over and I like the beat. Makes me want to hold and wine. Make the music blow my mind. So let me go. Kiss me while you squeeze. This music that I'm getting gotta hold on me. Come on. Well, what I'm about to do is what you want me to do. Why they don't want me to go? She don't have time and more. It's like they want me to break. But they would make a mistake. What did I got to say? You might not be down there. Cause I'm not going to be too far. No. I want to be born. Said Carola. Infidelity. Blowing me down. Since about a week. Two years ago. No better is first, I can take no more It's the boy to win up with the boys And the rock, and you expect me to be leaving Now look at the time, it's 4 a.m. You can make up, tell me which one I get me The red cosmetic Wait till it's sleep on the show, call all it's sleep on the job I will be yelling at them I will be yelling at them in all, the Festival of Bands event was truly outstanding and entertaining and one which bears repeating not only during the Everything Vinci Expo period. Next on Inside Story, we bring you highlights of events from this year's Independence Celebrations. Stay with us. Welcome back. Our resilience, our fortitude, our people. This theme represents three elements which have enabled Vincentians to emerge stronger from the threats posed not only from the COVID-19 pandemic, but also from the recent eruptions of the La Soufre volcano. The 43rd anniversary of independence saw a number of activities held during October. We bring you highlights of activities held thus far. The 43rd anniversary of independence saw collaborations among varying groups, agencies, government departments, statutory corporations and institutions all coming together to celebrate this country's independence in fine style. Today we look at some of the highlights of this year's month-long activities. Every year, bikers across St. Vincent and the Grenadines and neighboring islands join the independent celebrations with their own patriotic flair, giving patrons and onlookers an extravaganza of finesse and skill, enlaced with solidarity in commemoration of this country's independence, and this year was not an exception. The 
The St. Vincent and the Grenadines National Parks, Rivers and Beaches authorities brought a slew of activities, also in line with independence. With events such as the National Parks Exhibition, a tree planting ceremony at the Brighton Salt Pond, and various school visits to educate students on the work of the authority, the activities were held under the theme, Conserving Nature, Sustaining Life. The National Dance Festival brought numerous dancers across St. Vincent and the Grenadines on one stage to compete for supremacy at the event, which saw a range of dances from traditional, creative folk and modern dances, social, ballroom, popular and hip-hop dances. The outstanding performances came from the La Gracia Dance Company, Renaissance, the Avenue Dancers, the St. Vincent Girls High School and the St. Joseph's Convent, Kingstown. I'ma make a toast cause we still alive. No big, I feel like Pac. I shoot a shot. I'm coming in. The Taiwan Embassy, in conjunction with the government and people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, hosted the Hiruna Formosa Festival on October 13. The cultural exchange saw an eclectic mix of Taiwanese and Vincentian cultures. The showcase ranged from arts and craft, fashion and a number of performances. It was an innovative platform which signaled the deepened friendship between both countries. Health and wellness was also on the agenda as the month of events saw various fitness walks and activities bringing together people from all walks of life together under one common goal. Vinci Moves, a branded initiative by the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment, stayed true to its name and brought fitness enthusiasts and willing participants to follow the movement of wellness. It was truly an experience highlighted in the month of independence. The Everything Vinci Expo, organized by Invest SVG after a two year absence, returned with a bang. The event, which commenced on October 24 and ended on October 28, was held at the Geese Shed in Kingstown and saw showcases from a number of local businesses. The explosion of fashion and culture were also part of the lineup. Patrons were given a taste of the SVG Dubai Expo presentation through reenactments. Students across St. Vincent and the Grenadines came together to celebrate the 43rd anniversary of independence with the annual independence rally at the Victoria Park which saw several cultural performances and the presentation of students awarded for their scholastic achievements. Also the month of October highlighted the oratory skills of students across the country as the Flo Lions Club South Schools Public Speaking Competition saw Oscar Brown of the St. Martin Secondary School capturing the top spot, while Condoleezza Brown of the Georgetown Secondary School and Faith English of the St. Vincent Girls High School tied for second place. The SVG Independence Pride was seen past these shores as the Empire State Building in New York radiated the national colors of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The blue, green and yellow were on full display on Independence Day. The public display was the first of its kind and was an initiative organized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade and the SVG's Council General to the United States, Rondi Luther McIntosh and his team. After a three-year absence, the Miss SVG pageant is back with the royal return. No longer a part of the Vinci Mass calendar of activities, the pageant has now emerged during the month of October, coinciding with the independence celebrations. Eight contestants over several months of training are now ready to take the stage for the Miss SVG 2022 pageant, slated for October 29 at the Arnesville Sporting Complex. The eight contestants are Palavi Brown, Miss Play 4, Raquel Coombs, Miss Intransit Export, Shannon John, Miss Setco, 
Shaden McLean, Miss Davin, Ariel Oliver, Miss St. Vincent Bury Limited, Shania Peters, Miss Flo, Jada Ross, Miss Lotto, and Tanique Swift, Miss Massey Stores Limited. Each contestant was also actively involved in different community projects sponsored by Geku. The traditional National Independence Parade staged at the Victoria Park is the official ceremonial occasion distinct to this country's celebration of independence. After scaled-down activities last year due to COVID-19, the parade with all its pomp and pageantry was indeed a symbolic occasion of the challenges overcome as a sovereign nation to commemorate the 43rd anniversary of independence. Celebrating under the theme, our resilience, our fortitude, our people, the calendar of activities saw and continues to see events taking a slice of the independence action. For Inside Story, I am Sheridan Lewis. Stay with us. Inside Story continues in just a moment. Welcome to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, an island that ignites your senses with beautiful backdrops perfect for destination weddings. It is ideal for those looking to tie the knot in the Caribbean during the summer. St. Vincent has a number of stunning white sand and black sand beaches, the oldest botanic gardens in the Western Hemisphere exquisite cuisine from local restaurants. If you are considering tying the knot on this beautiful Caribbean island, the first thing to do is familiarize yourself with the legal requirements. For more information, visit www.discoversvg.com. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Caribbean you are looking for. In 1979, Kenneth the Vibrating Skakes Arlene penned what can only be described as a timeless piece of music, which captures the heart and soul of Vincentians and Vincentian society, even to this moment. This song came out like a mystical song in that I was the president of the Calypso Association back in 1978-79 and by August 79 we decided to do a Calypso competition for the independence that was coming. We were, we were into statehood and independence was coming in October. So the, the association decided to have a competition, and we did, you know, we organized and we say, well, you have two songs, but one song must be on independence and another one. So, carnival didn't happen that year, so most people had one song. Because of the volcanic eruption, there was no carnival. Anyway, by the end of August, we started organizing with the bands. We had two bands organized and had the Calypsonians divided in two groups and so on. And in one of the meetings in September, now, somebody said, but Skeeks, you're organizing everybody and you, where's your song? You don't have a song? Then I realized I needed a song. So I run home and, <laughs> and put something together around the, 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 almost the last week of September. We're all moving on together. So we must plan collectively for a brighter day. No one knows what's in store for the future. 
to dedication can get us there. Independence is a milestone in our march to prosperity. Now St. Vincent and the Grenadines have a real nationality. We are a nation of many races and have tried hard to integrate. The strength of so many faces shall be the prospects of our faith. So in this moment of history, tell it in every community, our nation is born. Colonialism is gone. This is a time of national freedom, so share our love with someone the 27th dawn of October, our nation is born. One history, one ecstasy, one destiny for all the we. song was actually born out of ideas. Those days, you know, um, we have a lot of struggle for identity, about blackness, black power, and identifying yourself as somebody important, because we get caught between a lot of political influences and um, racism too, right? So because of that, um, that song was born out of um, that um, era of, of um, you know, great anxiety and uh, not knowing what the future would bring. Now the anthem was there already, what the future bring was there since 1969. So we are going into independence. I think we have the, the same anthem came forward and I was trying to do my song to make it special. While we take this stand as a nation, let us not forget our past. For this future we praise our heroes who fought slavery to the last. Special honors to Marcus Garvey, his sacrifice gave us all a chance. And all the men who fought in this century to bring us this day of independence. So in this moment of history, Tell it in every community, our nation is born. Colonialism is gone. Musically, in the song, it, 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 it's tricky in that it didn't start as a calypso. It starts as if you're going to hear a ballad. <laughs> and that was done deliberate to make a difference. I wanted to make a difference over three years in calypso, and I was able to do it with that song because it was a special moment and it came out special because people still appreciate it up to today and I think generations to come will appreciate it. So, lyrically, we organized the verses and the, the, the chorus went into a different mood, right? It part of the chorus to, to come back to the verse. So if you notice, you have two different feelings happening in the song and I think that is why some people um, feel so comfortable with it. Even people who don't like Calypso singing it. it. It has that kind of mood and message. The message is a strong part of the song. We could talk about the music wholly, but the message is born out of struggle and experience. Uh, could I say more? Now this is a time of national freedom, so yeah, I love it, someone, the 27th dawn of October, our nation is born. One history, one ecstasy, one destiny for all the we. Though some manipulate the franchise of world adult suffrage, there's still hope of a bright tomorrow for all the underprivileged. Let love excel our wishes, our advancement needs plenty of work. Remember, back is that for the nation that upholds less action and lots of talk. In this moment of history, Tell it in every community, our nation is born. 
colonialism is gone. Now this is a time of national freedom, so share love with someone, the 27 dawn. Of October, our nation is born. One history, one ecstasy, one destiny for all of we. Yes, I came first. <laughs> I came first. I, I was a winner. You know, strange. Um, you know, even even today, even today, up to today, the song could still be a winning song because of the the language in the song and the nature, of the music, and the feeling that it it evokes. I, I won the competition before. By the time I leave the stage. I sang first on the night. I, I was either lucky or unlucky to pick one. So I picked number one, sang first, and the first song we were dealing with is the independence song. You have to sing that first. And when I finished singing my independence song at number one, nobody else was singing, has sung any song in the competition yet. So there's this top Calypsonian from Trinidad who's visiting St. Vincent at the same time, Merchant. He did a lot of great songs in Trinidad. He was visiting here at the same time, and he ran down to the stage side, right, at Lyric Cinema at that time, and trying to find out who is the man that just sing this song, where, where's the man? When Morton saw me, he said, you did, somebody said, look the man come in there. <laughs> he, said, he said, boy, nobody else win this competition tonight. You have a number one song there. Mm -hmm. That song was identified as number one without him hearing the rest of the, comp comp the competition. My people join hand in hand now, put your differences aside. Get your hearts and souls together, we got to build this nation with pride. Work in harmony with good leaders, never elect no one here to rule. Then we can feel at home like good comrades, our people must not be election tools. So in this moment of history, tell it in every community, our nation is born, colonialism is gone. Regardless to how we think about life and circumstances, Life is, life, life is much different from when we had statehood. It's much different from when we had when independence came, right? So I must, I must say that um, independence, um, for me, is very special still, right? Um, we have achieved a lot since independence, right? We have achieved a lot since independence. We have, you know, we have come a long way and we have a long way to go still because um, independence is a milestone right it seems to be more than one milestone and it depends on um, how you set out how we set our goals to get there because one group of people would have helped has, um, has helped us to a point another group helping us to another point and another group of persons helping us to another point. You know, different groups of individuals helped us, and we have seen the fruits of their labor all along the independent track. And I hope independence continues to inspire people for years to come. I don't have to say so. I think it's happening already. So let us move with history, in this moment of history. Now this is a time of national freedom, so Share a love with someone, the 27th dawn Of October, our nation is born One history, one SSC, one destiny for all the world I am wishing the government and people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines a happy 43rd anniversary of independence.
When Inside Story continues, we take a look at a few of the interesting aspects of Incension Society. Stay with us. Beautiful white and black sand beaches, lush mountains and valleys, rivers, hidden waterfalls, and multiple islands and islets, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We are a friendly people, welcoming tourists from all over the world with exotic boutique and luxury hotels and a hospitable business environment. Let's make all tourists welcome at our international airport, on cruises, on yachts, on sailboats, on land and sea tours, at beach lines, at our restaurants, shops and bars, and at our national festivals. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Tourism is everyone's business. Live it, love it, embrace Tourism it. Tourism is everyone's business. Yeah. Live it, love it, embrace it. As this country celebrates its 43rd independence anniversary, we take a look at some of the things that make our country so unique. First, we look at our paramount chief, the right excellent Joseph Chatier. Garifuna Carib chief led a revolution against the British colonial government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines in 1795. He is now considered a national hero of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Joseph Chatier fought and died on the 14th of March, 1795. Next, we have our national bird, the Amazona gildingi, also known as the Vinci parrot, an endemic species to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Got its name from a Catholic priest, Father Gilding, who fell in love with the bird. At present, the Amazona gildingi is housed at the Nichols Wildlife Avery Complex, located within the Botanical Garden. The Amazona Gildingi was declared National Bird of St. Vincent and the Grenadines on October 27, 1979. The Sofre Flower, Spachia profurata, growing in the botanical gardens, is recognized as the only remaining specimen of a tree found on the slopes of the volcano that was lost during the 1902 explosive eruptions of the volcano. Don't forget our national dish and drink roasted breadfruit and fried jackfish, and a nice cold glass of golden apple juice. But, did you know that St. Vincent and the Grenadines has a national stone? Yes, we do. It's known locally as the Sacrificial Stone or Jumbie Rock. It is situated on the right bank of Rutland River in Leyu, Petroglyph Park. It's about 7 meters long. It lies in the double shade on the trees in a narrow grove. Oba's 1875 etching brings this out delightfully. Finally, did you know that we also have a national sea creature? Oh yes, we do. The beautiful seahorse is known as our national sea creature. The seahorse is found in shallow coastal waters in latitude from about 52 degrees north to 45 degrees south. Their habitats include coral reefs, mangroves, and seagrass beds. Seahorses vary in size, ranging in length from about 2 to 35 centimeters. Seahorses is notable in that the male carries the fertilized eggs. After an elaborate courtship, the females carries an egg duct that places their eggs into a broad pouch located at the base of the male's tail, where the eggs are later fertilized. On behalf of the management and staff of the APA, please continue to enjoy this independence period and be safe. This is where we end today's program. Thank you for joining us. I am Nelly Skupid. See you next time.